Last time we calculated the ground state of the harmonic oscillator in position space, which was basically a Gaussian curve with some fancy coefficients. So what about higher eigenfunctions, for example psi1 of x? If we want to calculate this first excited state in position space, we could do similar steps to last time. So that is, we start first with the equation that the creation operator applied on the vacuum state and the ground state gives our excited state 1. Next we choose our basis, so say that we want the first state in the x basis. We can write a dagger in terms of psi and eta, and then those as x and p. We can plug that in and get this. Now remember that the momentum operator is basically a derivative in position space, so that we get this differential equation. We know what this is. This is basically e to the minus x squared. So that means if we let the dx act on this and multiply it with an x, we know what our first excited state will be. However, the following way is much more practical to calculate excited states in the harmonic oscillator. We can let a dagger act on the state 0 to get the square root of 1 times 1. This means that the state 1 is given by a dagger acting on the ground state divided by the square root of 1. Next, if we let a dagger act on the state 1, we get the square root of 2 and the state 2. So this means the state 2, the second excited state in the harmonic oscillator, is given by a dagger acting on the state 1 divided by the square root of 2. And we already calculated what the state 1 will be. So this is simply a dagger applied twice on the ground state divided by the square root of 1 times the square root of 2. This pattern goes on. So this means we can write our state m, the mth excited state in the harmonic oscillator, as the creation operator applied m times on the ground state divided by m factorial. And this is a very useful expression.